Thanks for joining us here today at Fredericks, who are hosting and sponsoring our press conference. Uh, we're here today um, for a show that's taking place on the 28th of February at the O2 Arena, um, which features a heavyweight title fight between Tyson Fury, um, who is uh, fighting Hamer from uh, Germany. And on the on the uh, main on the undercard, we've got a, a superb fight for the WBO uh, interim, sorry WBA interim middleweight championship between Dmitry Chudinov and Chris Eubanks Jr. Um, it was tough trying to make this fight, but Hammy spoke to Chris Senior. Um, we had quite a conversation. Decided that uh, we didn't want to be, or he didn't want to for his son be having 10 round warm up fights and so forth and to go straight to it and let's make the best fight we can. So we worked very hard to make this fight and uh, Dimitri, for his manager Vlad, agreed to come over. So we've uh, we've got um, a great fight well, for the fans here. This is, uh, I think it's a tough fight for Chris Jr. He's obviously come off of a very good performance against Billy Joe Saunders that he lost on points. Um, this is a fight that Again, I think is another step up for him. But one thing's for sure at the moment, he doesn't seem phased by that, and it seems that that's the type of challenges he wants. So that's what we've delivered to him. Um, this is a this is a big, big uh, moment I think in his career, and and it's a big if. But if he comes through it, then it sets up some fantastic fights for him in the UK and for the future. But it is a tough fight, and I know uh, Dimitri from. Uh, fights that we've put on in the past with him and watching him and I know that he's a much, much more improved fighter in the last couple of years than the last time he fought over here and uh, I think we're going to see a bit of a special fight on the night on the 28th. Anyway, all the guys are here. Um, I know you've got some questions to ask so please feel free to do so. He's a he's a come forward fighter, strong, and um, he's going to be walking onto a lot of shots in the night. He's um, one dimensional, as far as I can see. He's, he's changed up his style from the last fight I saw. So, um, I don't think I'm going to have any problems taking him out in five or six rounds. Any more questions? As the president, yeah, our president is Vladimir Putin. Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't have it, but I, I love the riding. Right, uh, it's a it's a very important things in my life. You know, it's like a hobby when you visit your friends, you take the bike and drive somewhere. The great things for me, it's a good, good hobby, but uh, uh, it's very important things for me. But most important things is to go to the ring and uh, take a chance, like fight with the Greece Ubong, with the, uh, take a chance with the Ubong family. The greatest uh, test for me, and I take this with honor. I hope, I hope yes. Yes, young man. What do you like about fighting in London? One more time. What, what do you like about fighting in London? It's my fifth time when I came here in UK. And 
it's and this time I came here, but in another quality, like a champion, and I want to prove uh, my skills here, like a real champion. I want to. I'm. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry about my English, but I, I so I speak like a, how it's, I can. Okay. It's better than our Russian. I promise you. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, well. Yes. Um, a prediction. Um, my prediction is only that uh, Junior will will do what he does best, which is box. And uh, through that, I think he can achieve everything in boxing. Chris Junior, you're going to change your trainer for this fight because of an injury. Davis, um, you're up the match this time. Yep. Uh, yeah. Which time with the Smith Brothers? Uh, the Smith Brothers. Uh, it's Paul and Callum. Uh, Paul and Liam. Not Callum. Callum's father, Callum, yeah. 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 Uh, in the south of England, I'm not getting any sparring partners. Um, it's simple as that. Up north, there's, it seems that there's more guys that are willing to get in the ring and train with me. Um, I need the sparring. I need, the, I need, I need, I need top quality work. Um, so I've travelled up to the north. I'm, I'm, I'm basing myself up there. Um, sparring so far has gone well, um, and. Uh, you know, I'm in great shape. Molly keeps tapping my phone right now, is that Yeah, you know, there's no new trainer. No, I um, I'm up there, you know, I have somebody puts my wraps on and you know, gloves me up and puts my mouth down my mouth, but, you know, nobody's training me. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm there for the time. See, the last press conference you said that as a warrior, you're the best person to play. Sorry. I said your bath's out of flame, Rob. Yeah. No, can you repeat? Can you repeat that, please? Yeah, I'm just saying. At the last press conference, you said that as a warrior, you're the best person to guide your son's career. Obviously, that's about to play out the ring. I mean, do you still feel that? Well, why wouldn't I feel that way? Eh? Why wouldn't I feel that way? How can I feel any other way? No, not at all. Um, you know, in a fight, realistically, and I say realistically, even you can beat me if I don't use the right principles. Would you like me to elaborate? Okay, you, you get it, yeah? I think we took it too early, but but now. I think that fight for Junior was a very, uh, it's probably the best, irrespective of the outcome, is the best thing for him. 12 rounds, 12 solid competitive rounds under his belt. He knows he can do 12 rounds, uh, uh, you know, in a, in a ring, not so much sparring, but actually in the ring under the, in the right circumstances. Came through very strong at the end. And I think uh, that sets him up well for this fight. That's, that's what I think was the, you know, was, his, was the missing ingredient for him. Right. Um, the, when the champion, in, I mean, we don't do very. Well, I suppose we do do a few interim titles. Normally, what the interim title is about is that the champion is injured or unavailable to fight, unavailable to fight, and therefore, um, to keep the t the title going. That some organisations like the WBA will make a, an interim title. So the winner of this would then fight the WBA champion. So it's, it's, you know, it, makes, it puts you in that position. And it puts you in a position, if it was to go to purse bids, that you'd be a 50-50 split. So it's a very important fight for him. Um, but what we would be looking for, and I'll, I'll use the royal we if that's okay to use it, 
is that the uh, the winner of this fights the winner of Billy Joe Saunders and Andy Lee. I mean, that is what makes all the sense. And if Junior comes through, if Billy Joe comes through, I mean, that fight suddenly becomes a, a much, much bigger fight than it is. And it's a huge fight anyway. But the fact you'd have two belts on the line turns it into a monster. And that's really what the, the thought process was behind making this.